Hey there, Cowboys Nation. Welcome into Film Room, presented by Hyper Ice from the Star in Frisco with Super Bowl champion Isaiah Stanback. I'm Kyle Yeomans. Glad you're with us. Taking a look ahead to Week 11 for the Dallas Cowboys, the Minnesota Vikings are playing host to the Cowboys this week at U.S. Bank Stadium. Thank goodness it's going to be indoors. It's about negative three outside this week in Minnesota. Lots of snow. Don't have to deal with that, but you do have to deal with the weaponry on this Minnesota offense. Where are they strongest? Because that's really kind of the question that Dallas is going to have to answer. That's a trick question, Kyle. That is so <laughs> unfair. Listen up. These guys have weapons all across the board. They have Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, old Jefferson outside, Thielen. Oh, and Hawkinson is at the tight end position now. A lot to deal with, but it starts with their ground game. Let's take you to the good old film room. And the main man that you need to be concerned with is who? <laughs> Mr. Dalvin Cook right there. You guys better know where he's at. And his offensive line is doing a heck of a job of giving him opportunities. What you're going to see here is this double team on the inside. Buffalo has some pretty big boys on the inside, but they are going to double team right here. And what you're going to see is this guy, after he knocks this lineman, all right, he's going to knock this, this offensive lineman, this defensive lineman off his block, okay, right there, right onto the center. Once he does that, where does his eyes go? His eyes now go right here to the linebacker, okay? Once his eyes go to the linebacker, look at this tackle, kicking that defensive end out. You guys always hear about, oh, let's keep containment. Let's keep containment. Okay, yeah, he's keeping containment, but he's getting kicked out. Well, who can make the play right now? This guy right here, the safety. Who's responsible for him? Oh, just Mr. Justin Jefferson right there. Bam, coming in there, getting his block, and then it's going to be mano a mano with Dalvin Cook and this cornerback. And I don't think he's capable of making that tackle. You got to make it on open field. Sorry, sir, not enough. Safety takes a bad angle, and number four is off to the running. We have to be able to not only keep our contain like we've been failing to do over the recent weeks, but the cornerbacks and the safeties got to come up and make some plays because that is going to be the man that's looking at you in your eyeball. You talk about a run defense that has struggled. That is the Dallas Cowboys. You talk about one of the best defenses in the league. That's the Buffalo Bills, yet still 81 yards for Dalvin Cook. But he's not the only weapon. How can they slow down the passing game, especially when you get deep into the red zone and they don't need to go 81 yards to the house? Well, it's very difficult when these guys have so many doggone weapons across the board, okay? You got Thielen out here. He's doing a heck of a job being matched up man-to-man, -man, okay? You want to walk this safety down here if you want to, then he has a good old uh, option for man-to-man -man coverage, okay? Then we got Big 17 right here, okay? He's going to be in here trying to grab the inside linebacker. That is his job on this particular play. And then right after that, we're going to put Justin Jefferson. We're going to say, hey, Justin Jefferson, you come back here and run an in route to grab this safety, okay? Grab this safety. And now, what does that leave? Oh, where is the tight end? Where's Hawkinson? I don't know. Maybe he's outside. You know, furthest away from the line is from the dog on the office alignment. What he's going to do is come out here against your safety or your cornerback, run a nice little whip route, and come along the back in line. They're trying to isolate him. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Boy, you see the guys come off the ball right now? Go ahead and pause it. As we talked about right here, he is his job is solely to grab this inside linebacker and pull him out. If you fail to come out here in coverage, then what's going to happen? Then he has a big old gaping hole right here to the flat. Okay, boom. Perfect. What's next on the gambit, okay? Now we have good old Justin Jefferson. What's he doing? Justin Jefferson is grabbing this safety. He is trying to pull him away. And what is that going to do? That's going to isolate this cornerback one-on-one -on -one with a big old Hawkinson for a nice little matchup. He does actually an okay job on this one, but you guys see exactly what they're trying Trying to do there's the head nod at the top and here's the whole posit right here this is the hole that he's looking at right here that is the open window if Kirk Cousins puts that thing right here then obviously there's gonna be an opportunity for him to catch the ball DB does a good job getting his hand breaking this one up but the isolation of a capable tight end on the outside against either your cornerbacks or your safeties is a little bit scary so it's not just the scheme for the Cowboys it's also the way that they're able to or excuse me it's not just the scheme and the weaponry for Minnesota it's the way that they put their players in a spot to Correct. be successful yep. and they do that at every level of the field as well absolutely and we're gonna have to go outside because we haven't talked about one guy Justin Jeff. Jefferson. <laughs> He's kind of a guy. And by the way, they played, what, nine games so far? And he has up already almost up to 1,000 yards. You talk about receivers having amazing seasons. Oh, 1,000-yard receiver. This dude's heading for two. And the one thing that you don't want to do is play man-to-man. -man. Please don't play man-to-man -man on this guy. And right now, you guys see it right now. For whatever reason, what are you doing, sir? Get your eyes off of the slot, okay? Thielen, I don't want you worried about him. You should be out here trying to get over the top to help, but you don't. So what you end up doing is leaving your man on the island right here. And Justin Jefferson is going to hit you with the ooh, nah, nah. He's going to take you over the top because he has no help over the top. This safety that we just talked about, his eyes are in the backfield or over here on the slot when his eyes should be back here trying to help over the top. Let's see what happens. Play button, boom, he takes all of his attention, pause it right there. Now, right off the bat, 
what is Adam Thielen doing? He is literally, he literally knows right now that he has a linebacker that's trying to come out to him, and he has this safety now that's responsible for him. So he's going to try his best to simply grab the attention of these guys. He's going to hold these guys right here, bring this out here. Now where's your help? There is no help. There's nobody over the top. We don't want to be in this position. I don't care if we got Trayvon Diggs on him. We need over the top help because if you don't put over the top help and you give Kirk Cousins time, he's going to drop it in the bucket just like this. Touch down Jefferson, and then he's got a gritty on you. We don't want to see the gritty this week. <laughs> he had it twice last week. He was the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. It's the scheme. It's the weapons. It's the talent. This Minnesota offense is dangerous. Can the Cowboys defense keep up? For Isaiah Stanback, I'm Kyle Yeomans. That does it for us here on Film Room, presented by HyperX.